Well, now can you turn it steeper? The horse goes right in through Regent's Park. King Edward VII's gonna give Val Kittyton a permission to enjoy the ride. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. There you go. Nice and comfy, right next to Daddikins. It's a very wetty for the little guy's nappy wappy poo. Great! I love music! Hey, Barry, we just wanted to call and show some support for our stable mate there. Yeah, and we wanted to tell everyone watching that there's no way she had anything to do with this terrible fire. Of course. Now, how about the lampshade? You know, the one in your quarters? The fancy one with little whales on it? So don't give up the lampshade? Uh, Barry, it's feeding time. Hey, we're off. I guess I'm just a chip off the old block. And lucky for you, we have this. So what do we say about Kitty Ted? Hit it! <sighs> Mr. Powers, it's been a long night. My clients would like to go back to their hotel and rest a little and think about your offer. Ladies and gentlemen, the buyout offer is on the table. Leave this room and I withdraw. The time, 1908. The place... London, England. The Regent's Park known that we have to celebrate, which is why Val Kittyton is about to enter the Buckingham's Palace to get a horse riding today. And so King Edward and George is about to celebrate with him for fun. Told you I was fast. Rocket, I'd like you to meet my daughter Sharon, my son Virgil, and their friend Richie Foley. Well, my friend, you can kiss your simple country ways goodbye. Here's a part-time leather from Seville, who's back for round two. Say hello to Senior Toast! One of the most famous teenagers of all time, Alexander the Great. He was born in the year 356 B.C. All right, I love him! Yeah, like after his old man, King Philip of Macedonia died, Alex became the ruler of Greece. And he was only 19 years old, man. Four score is 80, plus seven equals 87. So that's 1863 minus 87 years equals 1776! I've got to cut down on those cupcakes. Interesting. Welcome back to the living. I don't think you should. Let's see what he can do. Victor Freeze has paid his debt to society, and now with the help of the great medical minds of Wayne Powers, he's returned to a normal life. That's why when my favorite patriot gets parched, I quench his thirst for freedom with a nice cold round of revolutionary refreshment. Well, I mean, what about the English language? William Shakespeare, one of the finest writers in history, came out of the Renaissance. It's 11 p.m. They just don't understand me. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. But you don't, right, Abe? Good Lord, what has become of the sport of kings? Here's the secret battle cry, General Sherman! Thank you, Corporal Kiddington. Dismissed! Yes, sir! Thank you. 